Well, clearly I can see you've been in my workshop again. How is it they go? I can't. <laughs> if that's what you think. What are you doing, anyhow? Your job. Oh, well, so is me doing it. Pilot holes for my brackets. Brackets to hold your Two. curtain pole. Yeah. This helmet's not very thick. Right. Oh, I've just gone straight through that. <gasps> God. Can you see the hole the other end? Thankfully not, but... Um, you know where it is, that's why. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I haven't painted that. That's a stroke of luck. I'll purposely go. But I think these screws are going to be too... too deep. An idea... Um, I need you to find bits of smaller ones. Just an idea. Yeah. Could we go countersunk your left-hand side, come through and bolt the on the inside because you won't see anything on the inside because of the curtains. No. Okay. All right. Well. There is a, a thicker bit that goes through that I'm hoping I might catch on the top two. It was just that bottom hole that. Mm. Right. Right. So we're not going to have a husband and wife fight. No, so put the camera down. But, no, 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 here. Pass me a small posse, please. My only concern is if putting a small screw in there, I can imagine there's a lot of weight hanging off that. Hmm. Let's try it and see. <laughs> try Hold and this smooth. Okay, we'll come back to you. You drew the line. I drew the line. Which you, goes like that? You measured it. Do I go left or right of your line? Carol's trying to learn how to use a hacksaw I know now. how to use a hacksaw. How do you do it? <laughs> Have you got one of those files for inside afterwards to take all the shards off? No, you're being clever. You're talking about, no, I've got, you, I have a, a piece of sandpaper. I have a needle file. A needle file? Yes. Would you like me to do it? Maybe. <laughs> You know, I'll get really angry with it and just go tuk. <laughs> you can do it, darling. Come on. Oh, for flip's sake. Try and drive the blade downwards and it won't move about so much. I blame the blade. I blame the worker. Come on, I'm up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Girl power. Yay! <laughs> if it doesn't fit, it's your fault because you measured it. Okay, let's go and see if it fits. Well, the moment of truth. Did Carol measure it right? <laughs> oh, yes! Carol did measure it right. It's a bit wobbly. I still don't think that's a bit strong enough. It's nowhere near strong enough. So we have another sleeve to go over the top of that that we'll we... cut down to fit that. Exactly. And make it nice and strong. You don't need me now. Now you know how to use a hacksaw. I can leave you to it. Look, don't forget I was good at javelin at school. <laughs> I better help you then. I have a good aim. Okay. Nice shoes. Shut up. <laughs> actually, you've got a pair just the same that you have for Christmas from Beth and I did. They're actually quite good, those. What are they called? Shoes. Shoes. <laughs> Clogs. <laughs> Crocs, I believe. I so you've put one pole, it's sleeved it inside another pole, should should be now. That's that, that's a good thing, isn't it? There you go. How's it feel? Well I'm all gonna swing off there. There you go then. I have you said one now you need pole. one pole, you need another three. So now I've gotta get the next bracket. And hope there's enough space for the pleats. To be honest. Go on then, be honest. Um, we've decided they're gonna be show curtains anyway, we're not gonna be pulling them. And the reason we're putting these up now, the room's nowhere near finished, right. unfortunately, is because I can't finish the length. So we're not swinging. Until they're up and I can see how far they need to go. So they're not staying up here. Because it's so dusty in here, isn't it, darling? It is till I finish my floor. Right, next bracket. Next bracket, yes. You um, you mark the holes, I'll drill and fit. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you can do it. Actually, I've got one open. It's five o'clock in the morning. We've been up an hour. 
Uh, we don't usually leave this early, but as you can see, there was snow last night. Thankfully, it has melted. <laughs> Oops, that's a bit stiff. Stiffer than me. <laughs> so we stayed in bed for an extra half an hour. I fingers crossed. This is Adrian's suggestion that we leave this time. That there's no snow on the oh, way. Darling. This is how we feel when we get up every morning, isn't it? <laughs> what deflated? <laughs> this is like us. <laughs> we can never move. <laughs> so this starts our travels back to the UK because Adrian's got to go back for his big exhibition. Um, by the time you see this, we will be back at the chateau. So the snow, I hope, will be definitely gone by then. See you on the other side. We're nearly at Khan. We've got about 20 minutes to go. And the snow started again and started settling on the road. So it's going to be a bit of a slow journey. Settling quick though, isn't it? I mean, literally, a couple of minutes ago, there was hardly anything. That's thick now. And now suddenly it's come down, but there's still drivers driving quick. Obviously, four-wheel drive. Electric car we drive, they are useless in the snow, so. Let's hope you make the ferry on time. We will. I've picked up my eldest daughter and we were on the way to a Bacont, but she's made me stop here at this beautiful place, which is full of fantastic things. Um, and I've come across some lights that might be appropriate for the kitchen. Here we go. So these brass dome lights, they are an amazing 35 pounds each and the diameter of these is 50 centimeters. So they are huge and they've got a very long chain. I need three, there's only two here, so we're going to see if they can find another one. And that is a possibility for the kitchen. I've brought Rebecca along here. Say hello, Rebecca. This is my hello. eldest daughter, middle child, mother of Zachary. So antiques and collectibles of the White Lion. I haven't been here for a very long time. And so I'm quite excited to go inside and see what we can find in an English Brocant. A little bit different from France, but let's see what we can find. Crack on. <laughs> it's catching. I've swapped her for Terry, look. Oh, look, we could put some lions on top of the pillars at the front of the gates. 95. That's not bad for one lion. It's a shame there's not two. All this would have been beautiful in my old country garden in England, my cottage garden, but obviously not for a chateau. Let's get inside. Ooh, exciting! Oh, I found a pair of lions, but they look really sad. These two are 375 for the pair. <laughs> I don't think it's really Rebecca's thing in here. <laughs> That's all a bit too modern. What I'm trying to find is a decanter with a stopper on top to put in the top of the chandelier, but I can never find the right size, the right shape. I've just spotted these two mirrors down here. What I'd also like is two mirrors like this, but with candle sconces on the front of them. But they're not a bad price for £15 for the pair. I the sconce and I found these mirrors, and this is what I'm trying to the effect that I'd like to put the sconce in front of the mirror so that it has a double reflection of the candles. But trying to find something like this is really difficult. I might possibly buy these mirrors though. Ooh, we're just in the price. I found these lamps. <clears throat> that are they're very me actually i do like them there's a pair of them how much <laughs> her face says it all hold on how much rebecca oh, 158 for the pair for the pair they are really nice i bet they're really heavy as well they are heavy, heavy. i really like those wouldn't they be beautiful Ooh, they feel good too. <gasps> look more decanter holder stops. I'm getting a little bit carried away in this this store. <laughs> we might be here a while. We do have to pick up that. <laughs> the grandchild will have to just stay at school a bit longer. 
This is very similar to the clock that we bought at a car boot sale that has a broken leg. Now, how much are they asking for this? £168. I paid 40 for that broken one, 40 euros. But obviously it's broken. So something, I thought, something like this would sit in to the top of the broken chandelier. Well, it's not broken, it's missing the top. But I don't want to buy the decanter just to buy the top. Unfortunately, Adrian's not with me. He's working up in the in the city and took the credit card off of me. <laughs> Oh, it's me. So that is the kind of effect that I'm looking for. So while I've been busy working, Carol's been busy shopping. What are you carrying? The two lamps that I'd seen. The two lamps? Yes. Oh, the ones you've done a little deal on for the salon. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to take those back. Yeah. You Fine. buy anything else today? I don't know. How's your shopping going? Shopping's going really, oh, really well. Oh, so you have bought something else <laughs> to be revealed. Watch this space. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now where are we going? To another another English Bacant. <laughs> I think we need to call it a day. I think my wallet does, yay. I'm not sure who's worse, Terry or Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not too far from my old town and we've come to the Cotswold Company, which is situated in a church. So I'm quite excited to get inside and have a good rummage around. It's quite incredible how they turn places like this into stores. I thought it was going to be quite a small store inside, but it turns out it's quite large. I absolutely love that they've turned this church into one of my old time favourite stores. I found the bed section and it's got its own gallery. Now this is what I'd like to do in the barn. As I've said before, open up the middle and have this terrace or balcony, sorry, around the outside. It's incredible. That's the kind of light that we need hanging down from the staircase. A nice long one like that. Zach's found the bed already. He's been in it. <laughs> Green that I'd like in the kitchen, but it's come up in a different colour. That's grey, and I'm after the green. This way, this way, this way. This way? We finished in the bedrooms. I'm a little bit excited about some kitchens I've seen. Oh, you even made us coffee to go with it. Oh, <laughs> there's some, there's some baskets down there. I love this unit. It's got a nice black top to it. Lots of drawer storage. I actually love this unit here. It needs to be on wheels though for me, so I can push it around. It's quite solid, it's got lots of space, lots of drawers, a nice black surface for cooking, and I like the colour. Also, I've always wanted one of these freestanding larders. Ah, 
It's even got slots for the wine, look. There's also this shoe net. Obviously, they all come in different colours and shades. And this one. Again, for me, that would need to be on wheels, but that's not a problem. So lots of lovely freestanding units here that we could incorporate in the kitchen. So they give samples of the woods and the colours, so I'm going to take some of those away. Well, apologies for not showing the video that I said, but there's a reason I had to come up and build a, another stand uh, up at Olympia. Uh, as you can see, the finished result, absolute result. Um, it's better than doing parquet flooring at the moment, although this is a two to three day build. And this is what I occasionally do and why I come back to England. Yeah, a lot of work involved. A uh, team of four of us. As you see, it looks very good. Right, so you made a trip down to Mesa and have Carol. We have um, hired a van for the day to collect some furniture that this lovely lady Sue has very kindly offered us. So she contacted <laughs> us, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. On... I contacted. <laughs> and this this table's from. Uh... This is something that I bought for my parents about 40 years ago, and um, it's now needing a new home. Um, when we bought it, it was an antique, and I was told it was 19, uh, 1860, Louis XV, and probably French. Perfect. So it would fit with you much better than Lovely. it would fit with me. It's got some really good details, isn't it, as well? It really has. So we're planning on having this as a, a side table in the salon. It's the right colour. It certainly is. <laughs> it does you can, need you some work. See, <laughs> you can see the red tinges underneath as well. No, I think that's absolutely perfect. And thank you very much. You're welcome. Yes. Enjoy. We're much appreciative. Yes. And have you? did you do a close up of this old fabric inside? Oh, yes. In fact, on the camera, it's come up really, but you can see it much better. Can you? Yeah, really well. Yes. Well, when we finish the salon, Sue will we'll pop it in. Well, let's get it in the van. And we're back from our jolly old trip to England. We've got lots of supplies with us, lots of fab rates, and I'll show you that later. But also, we have another surprise. After six months. You're not doing your silver black impression. <laughs> after six months, she hasn't been at the chateau. It is. Da, da, da. Is back. <laughs> Young Beth has returned. You haven't seen it, have you? No. Well, obviously, I see it on video every day, pretty much. But I haven't seen it in person. So, do you think the video doesn't really do it justice? Does, does it? Does it? I wasn't too keen on the wallpaper when I saw it on the video, but you can see it a lot more in person. So behind you, if you turn the, uh, the light on, you'll see more reflection of the wallpaper. Da, da, da. Ooh, look at the glow! It's a different channel in there, it's pretty good, isn't it? So Bethany's back for a few reasons. One, she misses her mother. What about her daddy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So she's going off to see her brother in Australia. Matthew, yes. Uh, for a few weeks in February, so she really needs to teach Adrian how to do the editing. Mm. Hang on, going on holiday. Sorry, everyone, if the video is going down now. I'm giving her the task. She's going to leave me in the mirror. Not. <laughs> Not wow. Me. I'm just going to. That. Oh, that's a challenge for you, Carol, let alone Beth. It's, that is an old antique mirror, and you want me to do it. I don't think that's a good idea. So if it looks second hand, it won't matter to Beth. So do it, yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> and for anyone who hasn't watched Click Chat, Bethany's our youngest daughter. And editor. And editor. And manager. Okay, let go now. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs>